Dalton's law of par partial pressures is very simple. It just simply says that the total pressure Okay. is equal to the pressure of each of the parts. Okay. The first one is talking about gas collected over water. Now, in our lab, we had to make an adjustment for that because when you collect gases over water, in this case helium, there's also going to be water vapor in there. So we have to account for that. In our set of instruction, or in our green packet, we have hang on, this information. The vapor pressure of water. And the very first column is all we're going to look at. We need to know the temperature. So our temperature that is given in this problem is 28 degrees Celsius. Of course, you kind of have to look sideways at it. But if we come down here to 28, our um, water vapor pressure is going to be 28.349. So 28349 our pressure of our water. All right, we know the total pressure is 75. So 28.349 plus the pressure of the helium will give us 750 millimeters of mercury. Okay. Same for this guy. The partial pressure, it gives us the total pressure is one atmosphere. It gives us the pressure of nitrogen and not, um, carbon dioxide. And it wants to know the pressure of oxygen. So again, just solve for pressure. The third one, a sample of gas is collected over water. So again, we need to know the pressure of water at 35 degrees. So we go back to our chart, 35 degrees, the pressure is going to be 41.175 millimeters of mercury. Now, is this in millimeters? No. So this needs to be changed to atmospheres. To do that, we divide by 760 because there are 760 millimeters of mercury to every one atmosphere. 41.175 divided by 760 gives us 0 0.0542. Atmospheres for the pressure of the water. If the total is 1.1 and the water pressure is this, our remaining amount will be our gas.